Joe Tate, the voice of the Cleveland Cavaliers for two generations, dies at age 83 for many fans. Joe Tate was the Cavaliers.For all but two seasons when he left in a dispute with then owner Ted Stepien. Tate, inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame media wing in 2010, served as the radio and occasional television voice of the team since its inception in 1970 until 2011. He was there as the Cavs stumbled through the early seasons and when they reached the NBA Finals in 2007. He called the miracle in Richfield in 1976 and the shot by Michael Jordan in 1989. He interviewed every player from Austin Carr to Lebron James and every coach from Bill Fitch to Byron Scott. He was the link to the team in victory and in defeat, at home and on the road. Tate, 83, died Wednesday after a lengthy battle with kidney disease and liver cancer. Information on services is not yet available. I in a conversation with Terry Pluto earlier this month, Tate was typically straightforward about his future, if also rather curious about the experience. I'm not afraid to die, he told Pluto. I guess I'm an agnostic. I believe there is a powerful force, a creator. I do wonder what happens after you die. If anything does. I'm curious to find out. I do know I've had a good life. Lots of people have been great to me. He's the best, Cavs Senior Director of Broadcast Services Dave Dombrowski said on the occasion of Tate's 2500th broadcast with the team in November 2002. I think every team thinks they have the best, but we do. The league survived, as did the reputation of the man who was the voice of the team for more than two generations. That voice will linger in fans' memories for years to come.